Hello everybody and welcome to Spiritual Findings. My name is Vera Lynn and today we're going to be doing a tarot reading for my lovely Geminis for the year 2020. Now I know we had a lot going on for 2019 and it might have been going back as far as 2018, 2017 or 16. Depending on your struggles and what you're dealing with, this reading will be guided towards love, career and relationships. So let's see what guidance we can get for the year. I have a crystal set up here to represent winter, spring, summer, and fall. I'm going to be pulling from the original Rider Waite deck here. And I also have a couple decks with the angels, the fairies, as well as animal spirits. So we're going to be seeing what I'm going to be geared towards after this reading. I'm going to pull a couple cards just so we can see. Is there any guidance? Any inspiration? I can have for my Gemini's for 2020. I hope some of you guys are really excited going on to the new year. All right, so we're already starting off with the Two of Swords, okay, within winter time. So I feel like you might still be a little bit blinded to the issue that's going on. You might have your guard up, some past trauma, either whether it's guarding relationships or just, you know, a, a job left a bad taste in your mouth, whatever it might be. You know, you're kind of still dealing with that. And I want you to be able to move on because for this year, if we're really going to be able to tackle those habits or those goals that we want in life, we're going to have to be able to let those swords down. Okay, Gemini, we can no longer be guarded with a blindfold up. Take that blindfold off. Look at the scenario around you. The water is quite calm. It's peaceful. Okay? Relax. So once we get through that, I feel some advancements with your job, your house, your community, maybe a promotion, maybe some an, an addition onto your house, redecoring, um, things like that. You have the Ace of Pentacles pop up. So I feel a lot of material needs are going to be met, all right? You might have been worrying about bills in the past, that rat race of life, catching up with things, but I feel once you address what it is that brought you so much trauma in the past, it's going to naturally bring about a more positive way of living, you know, a more positive way of spending your money and realizing that, you know, you might have some different options out there that you might not have really even thought about before you know it could come to home insurance or <laughs> you know maybe a different way of transportation I'm not quite sure you know what it is Gemini so let's move forward with that so those those choices are going to bring about the ace of pentacles which is a really good reading to have for the year 2020 okay just having an ace in general is really good I had three cards that popped up towards the ground here let me pick them up. All right. Already, I see some good luck for 2020. We have the Magician card. All right. And we also have the Five of Cups ending with the moon. So, my Geminis, I feel like we're starting to get to know ourselves and realize what it is we really want to seek out when it comes to enlightenment. Whether it's meditation whether it's sound bowls, reading tarot, working with crystals, something's really getting your interest. I want you to kind of seize the moment, okay? Grab a book, maybe watch a documentary on whatever it is that will help push you on the road to enlightenment, okay? Don't just sit there and watch Netflix or scroll on Facebook, just wasting your time. Do things that really boost your morale, okay, that make you feel good, that really remind you why you're here, okay? So some deep thinking, some deep relationships there, okay? And we have the Five of Cups. This is coming up towards fall, so I feel like we're going to, once we kind of get through that attitude and push things aside, we're going to be in a state where you 
might not want to hear this, my Geminis. We might be in a state where we're no longer going to click with friends that we did in the past because we're going to be doing so much personal growth and work this year. You might find yourself not wanting to hang out with that friend that wanted to go to the same old, same old bar or, you know, just kind of held you back in your spiritual growth or, you know, bad habits or, you know, shamed you for it, whatever it might be. It might not even be just a friend, Virgo. It could be, I'm sorry, Gemini. It could, it could be a Virgo. I guess, I guess I said that for a reason. It could be a Virgo in your life. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you need to think a little bit more like a Virgo. I know you guys do share a ruling planet Mercury. So the whole thing is, I don't want you to cry over the spilt milk because the milk, the milk needed to be spilt. Okay, it really did. You needed to have a way with it. Dairy's not good for you anyway. <laughs> but seriously, you, you, you might lose a couple friends and it, at first it might kind of hurt, but in the long run, you're gonna realize that you needed to move on, okay? I don't, I'm not saying that it needs to be done in a bad way or whatever thing, but you know, the, the relationship, the friendship might cool down and that's okay. All right, we're, we're on to bigger and better things. Overall, for the year of 2020, I want you to focus on the moon cycle because we had the moon card that popped up to the side here. I don't know if I have it on camera, but this is your moon card. All right, we have a strong presence of the dog, which represents instincts. So go with your gut with 2020. Follow the moon cycles, okay? Make sure you have a little journal and write down how the full moon makes you feel or how the new moon makes you feel. Maybe write down your intentions, okay? Wish for things on a full moon. Restore and rest on a new moon. It's very important that you know that, Gemini. All right, let's see here. I am thinking from Vintage Wisdom Oracle. Let's see, what do we need to bring into our lives for 2020, Gemini, in order to make all this manifestation work? I love these cards. If you guys are interested in reading tarot, I have a lot of videos that are just not me reading tarot on my YouTube channel. I have a deck review if you guys want to go ahead and figure out what deck might be best for you if you're interested in getting your own tarot. I have how to read tarot as well as just other some cool other videos. I want to check it out. If you ring that notification bell, you get a notice when I post and I do have live streams from time to time. So you might get yourself a free reading if you hit that notification bell jump on the live stream you know and ask me a question tell me where you're from ask me a question if you're a subscriber of mine I don't mind pulling a free card for you for a reading nature Gemini we need to get in touch with mother nature perhaps there's also some natural healing that we need to take into counter for this year Maybe you need to do a little bit more of them salt baths, that healing tea. I know after this, I'm going to be making myself some tea. I know you can hear my raspy voice. I'm getting over some sickness. Make sure you take care of yourself. Don't burn yourself off, Gemini. If you have a really big project this year or some goals you want to accomplish, make sure the self-care, all right, the self-care is in your life. Ground. Go out there and ground in Mother Nature. Look it up. Earthing, guys. There's some serious science behind it. Feeling from the angels. You guys are an earth element. I'm going to go ahead and pull from the angels. They represent earth. You know, I've been feeling, Gemini, if things are just not comfortable in your life, you know, it's it's just because you're gaining some experience. Thought I saw a card that wanted to jump out and play. But it's okay. You've got to pick up a lot of experience in life, and sometimes it's just not comfortable. Five of water. Things are not turning out the way that you hoped. Not seeing the positive situation. Not seeing the positive in a situation crying over spilt milk and i literally said that with this card okay don't cry over spilt milk 
relationships that we're going to push off, push to the side, you know, it doesn't matter anymore. Because in the end, it all has to happen like this for a reason. It might not be fun, it might not be convenient, but it all has to happen like this for a reason. Okay? This card too. The Knight of Water. Emotional, romantic, enthusiastic, falling in love, or wedding proposals. The need to balance out emotions. Invitation to a social event. So get out there. Don't neglect the holidays, weddings, anything that's going on in your life. For those who are single, maybe that's where you're going to meet your new somebody. You never know. You got to get out there, right? The internet's one way to find people to date and things like that, but it's really good to find people in like-minded situations. Okay? All right, Gemini. So this sums up your reading for the year 2020. I hope you guys stick to it. Make sure that you get through your traumas, have a good way of coping, and really just see that you are magical. Get in touch with Mother Nature again and just really don't second guess your instincts. All right? All right, guys, you have a blessed 2020.